So I'm gonna go do a little uh, bottom fishing for grouper and Kobe and whatnot tomorrow. So I wanted to come out here and catch some bait. I thought it'd be a good time to show y'all how I like to catch menhaden. What I usually do is I come in these larger boat basins where you've got some deeper water. These fish don't like to be in shallow water usually when they're in large schools. So I'm marking a lot of menhaden out here deeper. The problem is the net I'm throwing right now, I really need the fish to be up on the surface. You actually can't see them now, but I'll, I'll back up a little bit and see if I can pick them up. But you'll see the blobs of bait come through here. Um, and you can catch those with a heavier net, but with this eight foot net, it just doesn't sink fast enough. So if it lands on top of them, they have time to get out underneath the, underneath the net. And it's really hard to net. I mean, you can still catch them with a smaller net, but when they're up on the surface flicking, um, those are the fish that you can catch easily. Cause as soon as that net lands, it's, it's wrapping them up. So we found a group of them flicking. What they'll do is they'll just pop with their tail on the surface and you might just see one or two pops, but those fish are never by themselves. They're always swimming in a large school. And so we're going to throw the net on them and, and try to load up a bunch of fresh bait. Uh, I have a bunch of frozen menhaden at home, but the, the fresh bait, even when dead, stays on the hook a lot better. So we're going to see what we can do if we can get us a pile of menhaden to take fishing tomorrow. Oh yeah, I got plenty. All right, so did pretty good on our first throw. Didn't float the net. That's what I'm always going for. When you really get them good, the net floats back up. Uh, this is an eight foot net. It's a small net, but when I'm in shallower water, if I'm out in the ocean, I want to throw a much larger net. I'll throw a 12 foot net. But this is still a very manageable net to throw. It's not going to break your back. It's a smaller mesh size. The nice thing about this net is you can catch mullet in it and you can catch menhaden in it. It just doesn't sink super fast. So I like to throw it in under 10 feet of water, 10 feet, maybe 12 feet or less. So I, I like a lot of different sizes of menhaden, but the good thing about these like five, six inch baits like this is you can, you can fish just about anything with them. I'll fish this size bait for slot redfish. Um, I'll take it off the beach and catch grouper and cobia and snapper and all different kinds of fish on these dead menhaden. And it's important when you got them in here, I'm about to go grab some ice and put some ice in this cooler to keep them cold. Um, the fresher you can keep these baits, the better they're going to stay on the hook dead. Um, but I like to fish these alive even if I can keep them alive, but I'm not fishing these until tomorrow. So I'm going to keep them on ice. I don't like to put the ice directly on the fish. I just want the cooler to be nice and cold. Uh, if you put ice right on the fish and the water starts to melt on it, it'll make them real soft. So, um, you got some different sizes in here, but usually these schools of menhaden, they're going to swim with other fish that are pretty close to their size. Not always exactly the same size, but um, these are, these will be great baits tomorrow off the beach. Hopefully we'll catch some nice grouper, maybe a few cobia, amberjacks, sharks. We'll see what happens. There's something about the water that will give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today